Hey guys, welcome back. So just a quick update here today. We've got everything connected. I think we left off the last, the last video I only had the battery and the inverter hooked up. I went ahead and mounted the breaker box up there and I've got an acryl electricity meter. This guy here, there's two CT clamps in that breaker panel over there and that's measuring the power that is going into the, the grid port on this inverter. Now the grid port is not coming from the grid. It's, I'm totally off grid here. The grid port is actually coming from my other inverter that has solar on it and the, the one that's in the shed. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm using that right now, I'm, I'm using that inverter to charge this battery during the day. And then this battery is running the shop at night, overnight, and during the day when there's no, no sun. So another thing I did, I've got a wave share. It's a RS-485 to Ethernet adapter here. Um, this is a, their Modbus gateway. And what, what that's allowing me to do, instead of using the the Solus, um, the Solus web app, I'm able to monitor this inverter through Home Assistant. And I'll, I'll, put, up, um, I'll put up what that looks like. I'll show you what, what the battery meter does for us. Um, and then I'll show you what, what the wave share, what, what the RS-485 monitoring does. And I'll, I'll put that up there now so you can take a look at that. If anybody's interested in a, in a video on how this all got hooked up, I can go ahead and put that up. I'll bring you in to show you how things are connected here. First off, the battery is hooked up like this. There's a, on the far left, there's a, 12, enable 12 volts and enable ground. Then you've got your RS-485A and RS-485B. Um, and obviously these are the, this is the power coming out of the battery. That's the, the 400 volts. And then in the inverter, basically same thing. You've got your um, enable 12 volts and ground. And then the uh, battery RS-485 connections. And right here, I, this is what I found to be the best place where this green Ethernet cable goes in. I tried connecting to the, there's a few other RS-485 ports. I didn't have any success there. I think the RS-485 battery connection is only for the battery. There's a RS-485 in and out, and it didn't seem to matter which one I plugged into. They both, they both provided, um, they both provided data with, without any issues. The only thing that I found with the with with this wave share hooked up and the dongle hooked up, there must be some collisions once in a while because sometimes what's being sent to the to the uh, Solus web app gets delayed. Normally it's a five minute rotation and sometimes I'm seeing like eight to ten minutes. But at this point I'm not going to worry about it because I've, I've got data coming from this and this is pretty much real time. It's I think every five seconds or so this thing's polling. So what, what we've got here, you've got your this is the green Ethernet cable I showed you that's plugged into the, it's like an, um, um, an Ethernet connector there. I used regular Ethernet cable and I just used the, uh, you can see there the, the blue or blue white cable. And then the bottom Ethernet is going out to my network. And we got power coming in here. And that's just a 12-volt DC power brick, that guy right there. 
And then for the meter, we've got, there's, there's two um, CT clamps that go, they're inside this panel here. Two CT clamps, and you've got your L1 and L2 over here, and a, and a neutral. And that gives you your um, 240 volts that the meter measures and powers it. That's another thing I can go into a video on, on how to set that up in the, uh, in the Solus. Because if you, if you haven't done it before, it's kind of a, kind of a challenge sometimes. Same thing with the wave share. I, this is the first time I've messed around with home assistant, so it, it took me a little while. I'm using what's called the SunSync card in home assistant. And all you have to do is, is once that's loaded, you just have to put the sensor data for Solus in there. And like I say, I can do a, I can do a video on that if, if there's any interest. It's, it's not too bad. Um, first time through, just like the, uh, like the electricity meter, it's a little bit of a head scratcher in some spots. But I can do that for you guys if, if you're interested. And then, uh, I think what I'm going to do next, I want to set up a database and do some, and, and Grafana. And do some, uh, do some graphing and things that way. Because I'm not real crazy about the, how the SunSync card looks. I guess I could change that around. But I want to get a lot more detailed data on the on the inverters and the battery and and um, I guess that's that's about it for this one if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff and want to see more sure would appreciate a like and a subscribe really helps keep the uh, keep the channel motivated all right guys I guess that's it for today I'll catch you on the next one have a good one catch you all later